sort of glad Billy didn't want to make a long speech because I do. <laughs> Mr. Saverin, Mr. Sheets, members of the selection committee, 1988 inductees into the Blair County Sports Hall of Fame, Mr. Kahn, ladies and gentlemen, Dick Conlon, my father, died in 1980. And were he here with us this evening, you would now be hearing the briefest of acceptance speeches. Dad would say, and he would say it very simply, but very sincerely, thank you. He would say that you honor him, and through him you honor his family by this recognition. He would say that he's pleased to be a part of this company to be a member of the fellow inductees, all of whom he would have known or been acquainted with. And this would have been true of last year's first group of inductees, one of whom, Mr. Pat Malone, was dad's best friend right up until the time Pat died. And then I think with a kind of quick and transient smile, he'd probably turn to you, Mr. Sheets, and to the members of your committee and say, you fellows made a good choice. And then I think he would do one other thing. He always called her mom or muzz, but when he introduced her to all of you this evening, he would just say, this is my wife, Audie. And somewhere back in the dark is my mother. And I'd like her to stand up and I'd like to present mom to all of you. Mom, would you stand up? There are 34 other Conlins back there with her, and that's not all of us. That would have finished Dad's speech, but I think that there are a few other things that should be said, because most of you will not have known him. And to preface my remarks, I'd like to make this comment. Every one of the inductees voted into the Blair County Sports Hall of Fame is selected for excellence in some aspect of athletics. And every one of the inductees enters the Blair County Sports Hall of Fame, however, not just as an athlete, but as the total human being that he is, complete with all the virtues and all the frailties that being human encompasses. Now it's true that Dick Conlon was an athlete worthy of recognition. He made his living as a professional fighter from 1918 until 1928, and while never a champion, he was ranked nationally among the six leading contenders for the lightweight title during the 1922-28 era. His record is as well documented as records are from that period. And as important as that record is, and as important as the athletic phase of his life is, even more important to us as family, are the qualities and the attitudes that he modeled as a man and as a father. When I first began to become acquainted with him, he was sort of a just, uh, just a vague presence around the house. He administered the discipline. He enforced the rules. He arranged work schedules, and we always thought he did it deliberately to infringe upon our own time. There were no questions about who was in charge, and the family thought that you should know some of these things about Dick Conlon, one of 1988's inductees into the Blair County Sports Hall of Fame. So that you'd have just a little insight into the man, the father, and the fighter. And on behalf of the family, I express our thanks to the selection committee for its having chosen Dick Conlon. <laughs> 